said country, Ithaca. They called it the Whiskey Rebellion. Damn. I, I don't think Snake or Swede will get that little joke, but... <laughs> Probably not. The, the Whiskey Rebellion was an event in U.S. history. It happened under uh, the first president, George Washington. Anyway. Alright, anyway. One of the first political crises in the United yeah. States. But, but, but I, made, I made this... Look, I, uh, you can't you can't win them all, Nico. Sometimes someone's just ahead of the curve on it. But, but I found it and poured it in. I, I took it. And I even used his. I even used some rags I found in another closet. Katie comes down. Did 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 someone go in my underwear drawer? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Cherry, Nico... Cherry sort of like leans out, you know, like grabs Nico by the shoulders, you know, patting his back or patting their back. Hey, hey, hey! You haven't seen one before. You still came up with it, and now the field testing is done. You know, your invention is very effective. Your mind was able to come up with something that took people centuries to develop. It's not my invention. It is your invention. Just because someone else also invented it, uh, you I... weren't copying them. You independently did what it took countless hordes of starving rebels to come up with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just better than them. Lydian exactly. is just, Lydian's just sitting there thinking that this wouldn't hold up in court, but he's not saying it. <laughs> Lydian is that's thinking, what we need a lawyer for. <laughs> it's Lydian thinking, how can I how can I market this though? How did you market I, I, a I... Molotov cocktail? <laughs> 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 I mean it's an invention. It's easily mass produced. Yeah, Maybe therefore therefore the... circumventing the need need for a production line which I could profit from. <laughs> Well, I suppose the real genius of this is that, you know, it's made with things that are on their own, not necessarily weapons. If there is a way to sell this, you know, in places where such weapons wouldn't be sold, if you just sold, you know, maybe a bottle of high-proof whiskey, it doesn't even have to taste good, but just so long as it burns well, and maybe the label, instead of being printed on paper, you know, etched into the glass, is... A cloth label wrapped around it that could be untied and now, hey, look, someone happens to have this. They didn't buy a weapon, they just bought a bottle of whiskey, but hmm. it's ready to go. It's ready to blow. Why not just use oil? Again, Dwight says from <laughs> across the room. Hey, save your genius for when you get back to Marion. Uh, if I had my right. steam emitter device, I had to tear that apart. Why? Why? Uh, oil has less <laughs> plausible deniability, and it's more expensive. Why, Emily? Yeah, Why? Yeah. L Lydia and Dwight. <laughs> I need it for spare parts. It's but a bobble. <laughs> what you, you tore apart? Maybe, Nico, what you could invent is some sort of liquid that's even more flammable than oil or alcohol, you know. Don't make him invent napalm! <laughs> no, you're right. This is this is a conversation for November to have. Yeah. Something that sticks to them so they can't get it off. <laughs> Need to invent some sort of, you know, we have hoses. Maybe a hose could squirt this liquid. And it's ignited as soon as it's squirted out. Mid now that's something Cherry could aim. <laughs> Palmer just like opens the fucking like little things like, hey, where's the sugar for my coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Nico just dissolving styrofoam. Nico invents styrofoam so that they can dissolve it into gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> I never felt so, 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 school project. Listen, Nico, as I understand that you are not terribly fond of businessmen, but 
let me just give you a little lesson in business, and that's you, you can't win them all. Sometimes you lose. But 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 I want. I, Sometimes I win. someone else has a business idea first. But the winner isn't who got there first. It's who got to the copyright office first. Wait, it's are these bottles copyrighted? Well, proof of concept. But let's not go there now. Maybe just Lydia, if we must copyright these. Then it will be my invention. You know, last time we were talked about trademark and anything, you really weren't terribly interested. It is a matter of my pride, damn it. We'll my go... science pride. Maybe we just maybe I we should maybe you should focus on what Cheris said of you know, um putting your own spin on this invention. Now you know that it exists and it's water out there. But no, but I now did. you look. Now you've got to put the Nico spin on it. But I did look. Points at bottle. There's a little Nico sticker. Yeah, that's Nico not... and November are gonna get along so fucking Nico's well. Just becoming like a tech bro that reinvents like <laughs> <laughs> basic concepts. Yeah, he, he's that. gonna make a subscription service for these Molotov cocktails <laughs> before too long. That is modern business, though. You know, everything's already been invented, so now we're just spinning our wheels with it. God, the might focus well on, you know, business. creating a better shape of bottle that, you know, has to have a, a, a nice convenient to throw, but breaks reliably, isn't liable to bounce. Yes, yes, the shape of bottle. Hey, there we go. You need something more aerodynamic. Hey, you need something that even the fattest of elves can throw. Yes, yes, but mayhaps it should be an orb. Anyways, we have this this uh, prototype now. We'll keep it for now while I so easy. Even a blind woman could burn a crowd of orphans to death with it. <laughs> we'll call it blind fire. Let's anyway. be rude in it. You. You called me fat several times today. That's... I'm just... That, that's just a statement. What's on the... What's on the docket today? What do we have to do? <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, Heather Space, like, her second action in all of Tumbleweed was inventing a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> it took Nico 17 <laughs> sessions. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, you know, it's like China. You know, they invented China and then didn't make glass. Sometimes you skip a few steps and then you have to... Oh, that's not quite the right metaphor, but you get what I'm saying. Sometimes... Yeah. <laughs> that's actually entirely the wrong metaphor, actually. <laughs> that's yeah. such an off-base way of putting it, but... I don't know where, uh, where you're bi bicycling, buddy. All right, well, uh, there's a knock at the door. Nick, Nico grabs the bottle and grabs the lighter. That's a house guest, a uh, Palmer. If, if you yeah, uh, Palmer opens up, checks who it is. It's the uh, and it's the tail that you got from O'Malley, and oh. uh, hired, gave him money to spy on O'Malley instead. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll say his name is um Wilkins. Wilkins. And I might have already given Wilkins name, Coffee. But he's Wilkins now. Wilkins Coffee. Uh, oh, do you want... I think I have his name. Oh, do you? Uh... Oh, never mind. No, I don't. Okay, his name is Wilkins now. Whatever it was before, it's not that anymore. Why, wow, come on in. This is, a, this is a business associate who's helping us with the rat problem. Right. Yeah, so... I did what you said. Fed him, fed him bogus information. Uh, and he took me along to go meet with a bunch of, uh, transport company heads. Oh. He's warming, he's warming himself up to them. Hmm. Damn. Told him about the gemstone that you have. And how he would, and how he, now he wants me to find out where you're keeping it so that he can, so that he can have a heist go.
What should I tell him? Come, come with me. Come with me. Let's go have a seat. All right. <laughs> Wait, is that a Molotov cocktail? <laughs> Hang on, is that an Emberwell embargo? Is that a Molotov? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. I could go for one. So, what do these business folk know so far? That you have a uh, very powerful energy source. But that they... can be weaponized. That can be, and that can be put to use to power everything. That it's your, that how you got it, or no, not how you got it, but uh, it's at a test, a testament to its uh power that he saw, and he's basically offering. He's saying he wants to take it for himself and get it out of this, and in exchange for. Their backing, he'll make sure that it's never put to use against them. Hmm. We like need to Dora. kill that rat. O'Malley's well, big that, oil. That would do. That rat needs to go. But do they currently know where it's being kept? No, they do not. Perfect. You're keeping it, I believe, in the the bank vault, right? Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. But we still have a lease out at that at that garage, don't we? Yeah. All right. Here's what you're gonna tell. We're keeping it at a we're keeping it at a storage garage. Just it was near the entrance to the city, wasn't it? Yeah. We're keeping yeah. it. Yeah. That's where we have the shock box, the triple shock box. That we do, and that's where it's being kept. There, we've put out the word to all of our associates. It's being kept in a secure location, just to just so they won't go sniffing around somewhere with no security. Alrighty. And you know he'll then try and steal what isn't there. Don't worry. He'll pick up something. Alright. Uh, will do. Perfect. Um, I hand him a few coin. I've yep. not actually got much at the moment. How much? I'll give him, I give him five coin. Just to, okay. as a start, well. yeah. Do you, do you need more? I have 33 coin. I think he'll... Is he happy with five? Does he look happy with five? No, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. fine. There's more... There's... It's like 25 bucks. You already gave him a good upfront payment anyway. Yeah. Just make sure they know it. Hey, actually, one more thing. Another five coin mm -hmm. in it if you can... If you can uh, actually... Hmm. If you can give me the names of the people at that meeting. Names, faces. You a good sketch artist? Ah. <sighs> can't say I'm a good sketch artist. Well, actually, no. Yeah, he is a good sketch artist. Sweet. I'm going to say yeah, he is. This, this he's, is like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, he's like, um, it's like L.A. Noir. He just produces a notebook that just has, like, <laughs> <laughs> like really good sketches of everybody Not that he's I'm... come across. Not that I want to give up a good tale, son, but you've got a talent there. <laughs> Maybe you can get into those newspaper funnies. Hmm, speaking of which, I yeah. should read one. <laughs> you, first you go past this disturbing, um, just, just O'Malley looking, a sketch of O'Malley looking straight at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's too I feel like, like yeah, O'Malley like would be one of those characters where it's like you only see him in profile. Yeah. <laughs> Being O'Malley head on his curse. And uh, there's, um, you know, this is Mr. Larson, head of the taxi company. Oh, he has the actual picture of O'Malley that he drew. The oh, boy. Industry oh, no. O'Malley. I'm, just, I'm, I'm keeping notes. Yeah, so there's, he points out a Mr. Larson who runs the, the taxi company. Uh, his right hand man, uh, Lester. Hmm. And then he points out uh, some people from one of the tram businesses, uh, namely uh, Mr. Stoke, who's at the head of that, who's at the head of one of those companies, and another head of the company, the last one, the last notable person he points out is a uh, Mr. Stanton. 
Sorry, get, uh, yeah. Could you write? Wait, those what was Stanton? Down? Another tram company head. Could you write okay. those down? I'm just... Stokes was taxi company, though, right? Uh, Larson was taxi company. Oh. Larson was tax. Okay, yeah. Just I am. And who was after Stokes? So Larson, Stokes. Uh. Fuck. Who did I say? Oh God. <laughs> um. It Come was. Back. Larson Stoke, uh, Lester. I got Lester. There's one. And, uh, Preston. Was that all of the people from the town meeting, or is there any of them like missing there, or was it like kind of? Uh, that's that's a good amount of them. Okay. Uh. The, the again, uh, some of the people who were there but aren't, who weren't, uh, some of the people who were at the meeting but weren't there are are the uh, uh, well, the walkable cities guy obviously wasn't there. Uh, okay. He's not. Uh, and also some of them, some of the people from the town meeting were um, instead trying to bribe you. Ah, uh, yeah. To leave. Yeah, rather yeah. than okay. dealing with O'Malley. Yeah. I give him another five coin, and now I have no yeah. coin. Not on my person anyway. Right. I could probably get some from the cart. But that's yeah. fine. Um, oh. Thank you for the help. And yeah, be sure. Uh, get back to him slowly. Make sure. We're going to need a little bit of time. Very well. Hmm. Uh, Nico, yeah. if you could... Nico, if you could yeah. uh, come with me, we're going to go make a trip to, uh, to, the, gar to the garage. <laughs> Just pops a Molotov cocktail on top of the door like a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot cheaper than what I'm about to propose. Actually, I, as we're transitioning scenes, I need to run to the bathroom. Really okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We gotta make sure it look. We gotta make sure it's believable that you know we just went there to inspect it and you got your information to report back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what we called the power the power source. Power source is the light of Pathaton. Life light of Pathaton, cool. That is, I just open chat and I just see that fucking rat. Oh god. A, a powerful rat. That's too powerful.
Nico's going to do something incredibly stupid. Oh, boy. It's just the way of things. When's Lydian going to introduce a season pass to something? Season pass to Shockbox. Do we have any <laughs> season passable ventures? I guess, like, maybe the we could season pass the casino somehow, but <laughs> what do we, we get it, like you get to go to an exclusive wing of the casino with better odds or something? <laughs> well, seemingly better odds, but seemingly, yeah. Actually, that's a note. I've got to do my um, I've got to do my move. I've got to do my entrepreneur oh, yeah. move. I guess we'll have time to do that. Fuck, I should have I shouldn't have said we're leaving the house right now. I'll do it later. I'm gonna carve out some time because I need some money. Yeah. You can just get it from the cart. They get I need coffers. I need some money. I, I do have some coffers in there, but I wanna generate more money. I wanna yeah. do, I wanna make some money happen. I require rich Hello, money. Ronnie. What have you got there? Hello. A gun. Oh shit, you've been outside because you're damp as shit. Oh no, snake. This dog is so fucking wiggly. Like when she's happy to see you, just her whole body just wiggles. Oh my god. Bye bye. Well, she just walked what? in here, stared at me. She's has a, she has a Kong in her mouth, so that's something. A Kong? It's like this weird dog toy thing I've never heard of, but you apparently you put... It's like a hard rubber toy and you put treats in it for them to kind of like try and get out. Oh. Yeah. I hadn't heard of it before either, but yeah, it's just... Oh, it, oh, it looks like, yeah. I think I might have seen something like that, but yeah. Hey, anything to help them play? Use brain activity. Have you seen slow eating bowls for cats? Yeah. Oh no, oh no, not seen slow eating bowls for cats. I've seen slow eating bowls for dogs. Though I imagine they're a similar principle. Yeah, it's just. It's very much just. Uh, make it annoying as fuck to eat or just impossible to eat yeah. while, so they slow down and don't fucking make themselves sick. Yeah. By the way, um, Swede, have you heard what the new Yakuza game is? Oh, the pirate one? Yeah, I saw yeah. it. I have some people. <laughs> Oh shit, it's just... Oh, yo, 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 Neo, yo. Did, you, did you hear about fucking Like a Dragon pirate Yakuza in Hawaii? Yes, I did. What fucking title, they gave up. They just yeah. gave up on thinking of any way to put that beyond the blunt. I love it, it's great. Yeah. Why is he do? Why is he in Hawaii? Uh, apparently he's lost his memories, he's got amnesia, so something's happened. I don't know. It's gonna be. Yakuza goes crazy, you know? Yeah. Is this like a main line or is it like a spin off thing? Um, I mean, it's a Gaiden game, so it's canon, but also a spin off, if that makes sense. I mean, oh, no, no, I, that makes presume, sense. I presume it's canon. It might not I mean, be. If it's like just yes, a spin off, but still, it can still be canon. Yeah. Now I'm just reminded of that Disney genuinely are gonna put a fucking Mandalorian movie in theaters. We're really back to the fucking late nineties, early two thousands, where like, oh, our cartoon did well. You're getting a movie in the theaters. Oh my god! I thought it stopped doing well though. It did uh, stop doing well because, like, I think it's just a factor of several things. I think it's just some people fell off. A lot of people fell off Star Wars. And also yeah. just post... The, the original Mandalorian came out like during pandemic when everyone was watching because, you know, you couldn't do anything else. Hello, Connie. But um, there was... I think there might be a bit of Star Wars fatigue because, like, there's just been so many fucking Star Wars shows. Yeah. So it's hard to keep up as an average viewer because they all link into each other. Like, like, everyone's got fatigue of everything. Yeah. You got Marvel fatigue, you like, got Star Wars fatigue. Like I get, I like the Filoni stuff, I like the Clone Wars, but yeah, I can understand like you don't know who the fuck it Ahsoka does, Tano is. 
it doesn't feel in any way special anymore. No. Because it's just so oversaturated. It's just common. There's no... Yeah. There's nothing to it anymore. Yeah, it's like, the average person is like, oh, a Star Wars thing, but I mean, I don't care. Like, yeah, like, when there was some scarcity between, like, shit coming out, it's like, oh, cool, a Star Wars thing, that feels special. Yeah, and like, of the movies, of the movie trilogy, and Force Awakens is is the only one. Even just, like, anything from that era, like, feels, like, not that special, even if it's something that hasn't been brought back for a while. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like, we, like, like, like um, Indiana Jones five. Like that didn't do well at yeah, all. No. People didn't care. Yeah. Even we'll... though Indiana Jones hadn't been around since like two thousand four. They just cut. Yeah. Of... I feel like people had uh, maybe not. But it's like people just. No, we, sick we're of very much in deep. Yeah, we're very much in deep franchise fatigue. Sweet. Because I, also, these I remember people... when we were like walking around Camden and you saw a poster <laughs> for fucking Twisters and you were like. Fucking IP rot has really set in when Twister needed a sequel to like. Apparently, it's pretty good though. Um, I c- maybe it is. Maybe it is, but just I just was a bit was just a baseline thing of just a bit skeptical twist. of it. Yeah, no, I'm going for a wee actually. One second. Okay. I won't be. I won't be too long. <laughs> yeah. No, it's no, it's weird. Yeah. Not weird, but like, yeah. So much of the those franchises also just been milked so much for the like last twenty years. Mm-hmm. Beetlejuice is apparently doing really well. Yeah, I mean that's probably off the back. It's been in people's minds because of the musical. All right, there was a musical nearby. Yeah. So it it still had a cultural presence. Yeah, I remember seeing some people talking about the old Beetlejuice cartoon where it's like, he's a he's a nice guy instead of ah. just the ghost with the most. <laughs> Never actually seen Beetlejuice. I haven't yeah. either. Yeah, I feel Beetlejuice is like a weird thing. I know Beetlejuice from ABGN. Otherwise, yeah. it's a it's a very specific eighties um, thing. Yeah. Yeah, like hmm. he told you us. I'm back. Hello. Well, no, like I said to Neo, like a thing about franchises thing, we've spent the last twenty years being having like eighties franchises rammed down our throats. We had nineties nostalgia for like five years and then it's just back to the eighties and it's never gonna leave. I'm amazed there isn't a new back to the future. Yeah, no, I think Robert Zemeckis is like has new people been... just don't want that remade. Thing. That's yeah. fine. Like, That's fine. That is a movie of its time. It can stay there. Yeah. Yeah. No. That was also saying to Neo. Like, I never seen Beetlejuice. I only know about it from AVGN. But like, yeah. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Solid. Yeah. I don't know anything about Beetlejuice either. That totally passed me by. Apparently, it's a pretty fun movie. It's just, yeah, it's extremely like eighties. Like, it could have only come out in the eighties. Or maybe not, could have only, but like, very much of its time. Hmm. God, now I'm just thinking of like, age franchises, it just keeps falling on their asses, I'm just thinking, oh yeah, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Literally one good movie. Actually, I don't mind two that much, but two is is not as good as the first one. Also, weirdly enough, more of a sequel to the TV show. Hmm. Also, they keep bringing out... Um, what about the trend of anime based on Western IPs? Oh, yeah. And 
I mean, I, I think how that... How many of those have there been? I've heard of Cyberpunk. Oh, we've right had okay, Cyberpunk, there's Star Wars, uh, oh, yeah. there's Terminator now. Oh, yeah, I heard oh, the yeah. Terminator one blows. I, I've heard it was pretty good. Maybe it starts strong and then gets bad? Uh, a mate watched it and he said it was good at the start and then quickly just became people talking <laughs> in rooms, but then he doesn't watch much anime, so he might not have been expected for the fact that a, a lot of anime just become people talking in rooms. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. Welcome back. I I do wonder how much of it is also just you've had whole two uh, whole ass generations growing up on anime. Now they really want. There's also a Rick and Morty anime. Yeah, it's like people are so keyed into anime and manga now that they are like, oh wait, we can like, get any serious. Get any serious. Visit a bookstore to see the comic section. Compared to the manga walls. Yeah. Local comic guy, guy here, he who sells like books and L pieces and stuff, he, he talks about how he has to expand the manga section because kids yeah. just keep going. Cute thing. There was actually a guy, was actually a kid post putting up a poster that he wanted just someone to talk with about with about anime. Aw. And he's like, I like Chainsaw Man and stuff like that. So it's like, oh man. You can't be watching that. You're a kid. Oh, please. I watch. <laughs> Kids will watch stuff they're not allowed to. Yeah. I still remember when I smuggled out my fucking stepbrother's copy of the first Resident Evil movie to my friend's home so we could watch it. Then I had to ride the bike home at, when it was getting dark. All right. So, uh, let's get back to this. So you were, uh, you're all going to the garage. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to the garage. Or well, as Lydian calls it, the car hole. I can't. I cannot say garage in Lydian's accent, but then I struggle to say garage in my own voice. So <laughs> I don't know what. I've got no chance with that terrible drawl. Yeah, Ga garage. Uh, Nico, we need to go in to the, the garage. garage. The garage. What the fuck is that? It's like the inflection is so weird. I can't it's do it. It's garage, not garage. Alright, all right, Nico, we need to go to the garage. Ah, you mean... Yeah, the... that, that works. <laughs> you mean the vehicle holding facility. Yeah, I mean the vehicle holding facility. Yeah, very well. Allow me to finish up my breakfast. Just don't knock that off the table. It, it will be fine. Just keep a lid on it. I I was gonna say you could call it the carport, but I don't think that really works in the setting. We just need... Hmm. We need to invent car. Nico. Mm -hmm. uh, your are uh... Your, um, your flask, your, uh, explodey flask. Yes, my paramedic explosion flask. Why not replace the spark with some kind of ignition? Like a button that just creates a, a little spark, like, like that, and that, you won't need the rag. <laughs> this, Lydian, Lydian, do you not think I would have thought about that? Just a suggestion. It's just an idea. I, I was, just crossed my mind as I was thinking about cars and ignitions and you know all, all that. But so well, it... I'll take it into consideration. Though I am the actual actual genius here. Nico underneath the table furiously scribbles down <laughs> this. Hang on. I thought you said that you could you you already considered that. So what was wrong with the idea? Um, further testing required. What if it was instead of just one glass bottle, you know, that's like a glass chamber. What if it was two glass chambers that had different liquids? And when the liquids mix together, you know, you could put two liquids that have some sort of reaction when they mix together. <laughs> Let's go to the car hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Why doesn't Nico want to invent chemical warfare? <laughs> 
Miko's next great invention is gonna be mustard gas. Act made from actual mustard. <laughs> Miko is like, this mustard gas was a ripoff. Oh. There's no mustard in oh. here. Yeah, I guess we're heading off to the hole of cars, the car store. Yeah, mustard glass causes mustard glass, mustard gas oh, causes yeah. blindness. That's ludicrous. Maybe that's what Nico accidentally dropped in front of Sherry in for all those years ago. Okay, so make your way to the garage, and what's your plan? So once we get in there, we just basically we just had to be seen going here, so it's like, ah, uh, they're checking in on it. Mm -hmm. But once we're inside, I close the door behind us, just lock us in and go, rat, rat Nico, I need a, I need something out of you, lick it a split. Now, King? I need you to create a perfect lookalike of the lad of Pathetan. Oh, what? Uh, a perfect lookalike? In what amount of time? Soon as you can. I guess you, you've probably got less than a day before he's going to go back, give that information, and they're going to act on it, thinking it's in this garage. Nico's going to make a duplicate so perfect, they just actually recreate the Light of Path to Todd. Just let's make hope, a second one. Let's hope for a 7 to 9 result. Oh, fine, I'll try. Uh, what do I roll for this again? Then now, now wait, be... before, you, before you make it, Lydian goes before you before you make your roll. Lydian goes and grabs the shock box. We needed to, we needed to have similar properties to this. Oh, only, that should be easy. Only amped right up. Right up. I was going to suggest putting explosives in it, but I think that would. I don't want to actually just cause an explosion. <laughs> Even though, actually, do I want to cause an explosion? If. What if they send Wilkins to collect it? Yeah, that would be a problem. We're it doesn't have to, well, to do in business. I mean, to be fair, I want it to go off in O'Malley's office, not here. Uh-huh. Real. Yeah. Or wherever they take We're it. We're trying to bomb O'Malley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the idea. Yeah, let's go with the let's go with the bomb. Um actually should we? What do you guys think? Should we go with the explosive well, I or think the it's fun. All right, Lydia, not, wait. O'Malley, not the sh O'Malley will survive this. I'm confident of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's gonna take it to the industry types. Is the thing. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Cher so Cherry is kind of shocked by Lydian's plan, but no, she'll encourage this. But wait, wait, wait are we going for the shock box plan or the bomb plan? Well, Nico is. Wait, you want me to, 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 to unalive? <laughs> the the shockbox plan doesn't have to be separate from the bomb plan. I mean, if we just had it sitting in a drawer, having it be defended makes more sense. It'll be more believable that it's the real thing if they have to get past the shockbox to do so. That makes sense. Well, I was going to say giving it the properties of a shockbox to defend it, but... Oh, oh, I see, I see. But Sorry, I misunderstood yeah. what you're saying. No, basically, it's got the properties of a shock box, so when they get it back to O'Malley's office, they would be shocked by it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go with a mix of the two. Bomb plan and that. I want yeah. you to make okay. it... I want you to make this an explosive. When O'Malley takes this back to those industry types and wants, and gives a demonstration, I want it to blow them away. Wait, you want me to make the box explosive? I want or, you to I want you to make the replica pa of the lad of Pathetan that they're trying to steal explosive. Wait, wait, Lydian, are you telling me to to to, to kill? <sighs> Nico, these people are going to try, are going to try and kill us. They've already tried. They're working with O'Malley. This is self defense. I don't know. So many ethical quandaries. You just wow, invented a, a, a machine that sets people on fire. Hmm. Nico, wait, like, hmm. Lydian, very with difficulty, goes down on one knee and puts his hands on Nico's <laughs> shoulders. 
These people, you are the embodiment of progress. These people oppose you, therefore they oppose progress. What happens to people like that? My word. You're right. And you're right too, Sherry. I did make something to kill people. Cogsworth. We shall make a bomb. They grow up so fast. All right. Anyway, move, move aside. I need some napalm. <laughs> The hell's napalm? Roll int. You go. You wouldn't know. Uh, all right, cool. I'll say that. Yeah, you you can get the materials, and yeah, you you can spend all day building this. While he's doing that, can I go and do some entrepreneur? Like sure. Yeah. While he's doing that, I go to a nearby cafe, and I'm just. Doing, getting some business done. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am going to pick. I'm going to pick um, the Silver Mine, Shockbox Production, and Long Arm Tavern. All righty. So let's roll these bad boys. So, Silver Mine. Just gonna, I'm just marking it down in my notes. Silver mine was pinged. Uh, Long Arm Tavern was pinged, and Shock Box Production. So roll charisma. Let's hope for the best. Oof. Okay. All right. So. so on a seven to nine, only one produces surplus or money, and the uh, and one other venture experiences disaster. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, the shock box production uh, produces money. Hey, One D six times one D six times forty. And all right, four times yeah. forty. So, and Nico gets fifty percent. Meanwhile, 50%. with silver mine, last we checked in with that, there was a collapse, and it had been, it had been caused by some adventuring party saving some innocents from further up the mountain. Hmm. And so your response was to do the adventuring party, and you got them a good lawyer, and you pointed out a good lawyer for that. Well, the lawsuit isn't going too well. Uh -oh. The lawsuit is falling because uh, they've actually the adventuring party decided to uh, do a whole public uh, campaign. Uh, they hired out a PR firm to uh, tell the public, you know, just how, you know, they're being punished for doing something heroic, and the public's turning against uh, this this whole lawsuit, and the jury is going to be hard to select. And so, you the lawyer wants to push for a trial without the trial is just by judge, not by jury. But the adventuring party, you know, is insisting on trial by jury. All right. So, hmm. Let's put, let's counter the PR then. So while they're doing that, I put the word back to um, business associates back there, and all you know, the Emberwell legal system, and a lot of others. That hey, if you want to go ahead with this, if you. You're, if this goes through, that is setting precedent that heroes, quote heroes, can do whatever they want around your minds and ju around your minds, shut them down, blow them up, do whatever. And as long as they claim heroism was involved, you've got no, you've got no uh, recourse legally. So I want to start getting these guys kind of tarred in the business world, so we get some allies up top. All right. So okay. we're reaching out to other minds, like, hey. 
you don't want this setting a precedent because that's gonna that's gonna affect all of us. That's gonna affect production. That's gonna affect jobs. I'm sure the jury would see some problems there. All right, cool. Uh, we will see how that plays out next time we check in with the silver mine. Okie dokie. Uh, ba 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 ba. Sweet, did you add 80 coins to your inventory? <laughs> nope, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you get 50% of the of the proceeds on that. Wait, were there no proceeds from from the uh the what do you call it? The uh, uh no, the tavern. no, it was, one, the no. tavern was neutral. Yeah. Did you say 80 coins or yeah, it was four times forty, so you get fifty percent of the you get fifty percent of the split. Wow. wow, Nico's rich. Nico's not gonna use this money much at all. Yeah, you don't spend a great deal of money. You tend to just you know, skive off of us two. Maybe it should go to someone who needs it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the mood, considering he's building a bomb for me right now, I'm not in the mood to go tell him to give away the money. Oh, Nico don't care. Yeah, money is just Lydian a, imagines to... he might. He's probably going to make a shotgun that fires coins. And then we'll tell him that that Resident Evil movie came up with it first and he'll have an existential crisis. <laughs> Alright, so as you're finishing up your business uh, with you know, your mind and all that, uh, you got sort of, uh, the piece of, uh, paper that Phelan gave you. Mm. You know, the communication, the communicative paper. Yeah. Uh, gets, uh, starts, you know, lights up. Oh, I, yeah. Letting you know that you'll be needed for a meeting, uh, tomorrow. Okay. And that uh, this meeting will determine uh this will be uh this will be the meeting with uh, the uh, with high up officials in the government to determine uh whether or not to uh grant your company a uh contract. Perfect. All right. Got a day left to get this settled in. Mhm. Mm I just want to say how yesterday evening Lydian was a little hesitant. I don't know, should we get in bed with gangsters? And Sherry was like, yeah, you should do it. And now he's like, I'm going to bomb an office to take out rival businessmen. You Life love his, you love to see growth. Life comes at you fast, especially with several months between sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So I like the idea of Lydian getting fatter as he grows more corrupt and evil. <laughs> With Nico spending the rest of the day building uh the crystal bomb. Uh do Nico I mean do Lydian and um, and Cherry have anything to do for the rest of the day? So uh, Lydian is in case they are going to come and steal it tonight. He is kind of hanging around the garage. He's like looking around like potterings, checking in and out. Hmm. So he is mostly hanging around there in case the place is does get robbed so he can act like he didn't expect it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um Okay, that's what he's doing. I think Cherry might go and panhandle that. Okay. Do I, have, I don't have a move or anything, control so that's just charisma. Oof. Hmm. I'm gonna say you get, uh... Let's see. And you only get, like, four coin. Well, I'll be right back. right back. I'm going to get a cup of water real quick. Okie dokie. I'm going to go 
for a quick wee again, because, Jesus, I just need to keep doing that. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm back. Welcome nice. Back. Wow, that was really a one, two, three. <laughs> what do you guys think of my new Discord avatar? Can't tell what it is. It's it's the child getting shot by the military. Oh, oh I've not watched I... the short yet. I've got. A, it's a... it's good. I've seen like the f gifs of the fight posted on Twitter, and yeah, I've got to sit down yeah. and just watch it. It, it, it it's very short like i i wish we got more of like the fight <laughs> and whatnot but it is it was I, it was good it's, you know what the funniest thing about it is like so i have seen like bits of it here and there it's so funny this guy's been voicing shadow for so long and it's only now he actually gets to fucking show chops yeah and he's actually good <laughs> He's, I'll say, of the game voice actors, he's still probably my least favorite. Um, it's like, he has some deliveries that work, but then other ones, there'll still be occasional ones where I'm like, that's... I mean, it's not like either of the others didn't have bad deliveries, too. They were also held back by much worse vocal direction at the time. Yeah, that is very true. I like this Maria voice a lot, though. Mm. I also did. You I see the say, fucking like? Oh, go ahead. I do like Keanu Reeves' shadow. I was, I was kind of yeah. Just, no, um, he, he's in. yeah. I, I, I. One of the actually, you know, what really sold me mm. on him was the like Sonic Movie Three DLC for Generations. That they got Keanu. Hearing him and that really sold me on it. Like, I kind of wish they could get Keanu Reeves in to just be <laughs> Shadow's VA now. They're just gonna have to rip lines from other movies and just create a whole script. Hang on one second. <laughs> <laughs> back again. Welcome back. Yeah. All right. Speaking uh, of, I was able to finish uh, the playing adventure on. It was a good video. Thank you. 
got called out. I love that it was over that specific <laughs> scene, too. I really <laughs> that yeah, that was chosen very deliberately, because like, we've talked about yeah. that moment. <laughs> Watch this video. I've seen this. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually so <sighs> solid evidence. I don't know why it's so funny to me that they pronounced his name correctly. <laughs> <laughs> because it, and it clearly indicates they thought about this shit. Yeah. They've got a passing knowledge of him. I like that they know enough about him to know to know how to pronounce his to recognize him and say his name correctly, but like also aren't sure about you know. They still have the existential quandary, despite yeah. I like this gives me the vibe of like a children's education. Honestly, I think this would be a good show for like, you know, adult swim or something could do this. Like that sort of like children's educational show where kids like ask a question, then some magical figure, historical person shows up to like time travel them or whatever and teach them a lesson. I think you could just do that, but with like some stoners. I, I realize I'm re reinventing I, I, I don't know why, but I thought you were going to suggest it's like it's still innocent kids, but they just get to meet like some really fucked up thinkers, like my could call it like fucking my friend Diogenes or some shit. Oh no, actually, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> it's still innocent kids, but they get sent back to like I don't know, talk with Foucault or whatever, and it's just way fucking out of their scope. Whole movies basically was that. Was that? Oh, okay. So that idea has been done. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Just now the whole movie says a lot of talking like philosophy thing. There's a scene from home movies that like a million people have made the joke, but it's still funny to me that the scene is essentially just a Foucault lecture. I think Snake might like home movies of the like original Oh no, I show. actually do think Snake would like home I've movies. Never heard yeah, of it. it feels I don't think I have anyway. It doesn't ring a bell. I recognize I think this you'll character. Recognize it. I've I've seen pictures yeah. of these characters. <laughs> Any uh, what's the guy's name? He, he plays Arch and uh, Bob. H. John uh, Benjamin. Yeah, he's in it. He's Coach McGurk. All right, so. Get back to this. So, Cherry Panhandles gets four coin. Uh, Lydian, do you have anything to do for tomorrow? Hmm. While you all Lydian, hanging around while, at the garage. Yeah, while Nito. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of how to. What to do with my time. I think I'm. I am just kind of hanging around with Nico, but yeah, I'm okay. also. I'm trying to make it look like I'm occasionally like going around outside, wandering around, looking paranoid. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, looking like I've been noticed. Trying to basically trying to make it look like yeah, they're on to me. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. All right. So, uh, do you stick around for nighttime then, or do yeah, you just yeah, go back? Yeah, I do. Because the meeting, do. the meeting is tomorrow, so obviously I've got to protect my greatest asset. Oh, okay. All right. So you stick around at night while... Nico, are you there as well? Or is Lydian alone? I think I've kept Nico... N I think Nico's here because he's making the thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah, but oh, yeah. he will have finished by night time. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, once he's done, I say, well, Nico, you're free to go back to Palmer's, but I'm pretty sure they're going to come and try and steal this thing in the night. And, uh... When they do, you've got to act like you don't want them to have it. But you got to let them have it. Do you understand? I don't. I, I, I get it, but I don't want them to have it. But, I, but you, I get it's been, you Listen, Nico. The meaning of an invention is its purpose. And this thing's purpose is to be stolen. So you should be glad. True. True. Yes, no. I have to see it. I, I guess. So... 
You can either go back to Palmer's and I'll handle all this, or you can stick with me and try and sell it. Hmm. Well, I'm a terrible actor. Then you might want to go back to Palmer's. Fine, I'll go back to Palmer's. Oh, one more thing, Lillian. What's, what is it, Nico? <laughs> Nico is slightly just the box perfection. Now, so it looks like the light of Pathaton. Mm. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's all, that's what we need. And it's got a bomb in it. Kaboom. <sighs> right. Have a good night, Nico. And hey, tomorrow we're at the meet and tomorrow's the big show. This is just the yeah. warm up act. Oh boy, oh boy. Where is Cherry? Is she stuck around or is she like. No, she's panhandle? probably regrouped by this point, or you could have retrieved her. Uh, which I which doubt she wants to be part. Yeah. Would she want to be part of the acting like, oh no, don't take it? Uh, do you want her there? I she think it'd be. I think it'd be. Boss. I think it'd be more fun than doing a solo scene. I actually wanted Nico to stick around, oh, yeah. but okay, sure. Okay, okay, around, yeah. okay. You know what? Nico can stick around too. Yeah, you know it's more fun. Mm -hmm. No, I have to see it. Wanted, yeah. So I guess we're just waiting around in case someone tries to steal this thing. Oh, this is a great use for Cherry's blindness. You're also the one with a gun, and also the best fighter in the party, but... Yeah. Uh, I feel like Nico's but not probably the... a better fighter. Oh, yeah. But also, we're not trying to fight him. We're just trying to make it look like, yeah. oh, no, they're stealing it. So, before night comes, uh, as you're having this conversation, uh, you're walked up to by someone, and he just says, Hey, I'm with, I'm with uh, Bright Circle. From what I'm gathering, you don't want us to intervene if something happens? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Tonight, tonight, you're off duty. This thing back here, don't worry. It's not the real, it's... Yeah, t just leave us alone tonight. We don't need your protection. Very well. I'll call him off. Perfect. Alright. And as night comes, uh, some people... Uh, do in fact start sneaking past security around the garage uh, while you're pretending to be busy I'm assuming yeah like I'm just acting like so we kind of hear them approaching well, we know we, we do kind of catch wind of their approach as they're coming in yeah right okay yeah so I just kind of the moment I noticed that I just kind of Turn right. Showtime. Now, Nico, the thing you gotta understand is yes, I understand you're very attached to this, but this thing has to go. You have to let it go. This is gonna serve the city in a greater way than it we it could possibly do in your hands. You understand, right? You understand that. I, I, I just can't no, I can't, but I need it here. Cherry, can you talk some sense into the little boy? Wow. That's condescending. I know it's condescending, but that's because he has to be condescended to right now. <laughs> I dare you. Okay, I okay, did. okay. Cherry's like, all right, here, let me talk to him. Let, let, let me have a talk. All right, come here, Nico. Listen, sometimes, you know, if you just kept all your inventions to yourself, yes, you would use them better than anyone else would. People aren't good. But then... Who would know your inventions? Isn't the point of inventing them to show the world, to share, to improve things? What good is an invention if no one else but you sees it? I, an I, invention I, kept under lock and key might as well not be invented at all. But I know better. You do know better. But you're the only one who knows at all. Other people are clueless. They don't know what you've invented. You need to let your inventions affect the world. Go out and do things. 
So oh, somebody sure. rolls into the garage and starts emitting smoke. Oh, oh, di oh dear. Quick, hide the... Hide it. Hide the power source. Quick, gr grab that blanket. Lydian just, like, grabs the top and just, like, throws it over the fake light of Pathathon. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah so uh people people you know come in under cover of smoke uh so one of them blocks your sort of tarp and uh someone runs up to nab the light the fake light Jerry starts you know like standing up and something right what what's going on what are you talking about lydia they're trying to take it. They're trying to take like Lydian just makes a shot. Like no! he just like he grabs one of them and like you know makes a show of like trying to pull him away. Yeah, he's yeah. like you know what, stumbling around, arms outstretched, playing up the blind thing. Okay, Lydian, you get you catch an elbow to the stomach. Ooh. Lydian, I'm lost. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, I know oh, what it's no. like. I know now what it's like, Cherry. They've smoked them. <laughs> <laughs> does I, I does the smoke smell like it's on fire, or is it a different no. type of? Okay. All right. One of them just yells out, "Cover him while he gets away with the thing." Cover him? Cover who? We're gonna- You're not gonna get away with this! The future of this city rests in my hands and you're not part of it! My- With my invention! Cherry picks up something and is like, I'll stop them, Lydian, and like swings blindly at nothing. <laughs> Swinging yeah. around the room. Lydian, I'll stop them with my... with my invention! <laughs> Frozen Molotov cocktail! <laughs> Nico, no! <laughs> no, Nico isn't using it. He's gonna use the electric amplification glove. But, you know, it's... This room is full of smoke. Um. So Nico's just gonna have to stumble for him just, just grabbing something with the, the shock glove. Is it me? Well... Maybe. <laughs> Better Lydian than me. Yeah, no, let's grab Lydian's fat ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just rude to this point. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, Nico just grabs your, your hand like, here you go, evildoer. Eat shock. Nico isn't putting it on full blast. Just... Nico, you're shocking me. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, it wouldn't be useful to us, but I do think it would be extremely funny if I used my Three Stooges move to, like, the pan she's swinging around or whatever flies in her hand and conks Lydian on the back of that. You should do it. You should do it. You should do it. How much health does Lydian have? He's full right now. Well, 16 of 17, actually. But I... Well, you know, you could survive a D10 damage. Shall I do? I think that would add to the scene. Yeah, yeah, it's real actual harms, believe okay. will do it. Yeah, I don't have to roll for that. I just, I just spend luck and roll damage. So yeah, she's swinging like a frying pan or a shovel or some mechanical tool, and as she swings really hard, it flies out of her hand and just perfectly conks Lydian in the back of the head. Nico, oh. they're getting away. <laughs> Oing. Lydian, I think I got one of them. You got me. Oh no. Oh no, I shocked Lydian. Uh, yeah, so the guy with the fake light uh, scurries away as the others start to run as well. Lydian, teetering from the blow to the head and the shock, falls directly on the triple shock box. <laughs> 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 he is sent through the ceiling. 
I mean, I, 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 you know, could, I could, I could spend another luck. You could survive another one d ten. Yeah, genuinely, I've got eleven health left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, they make off into the night. Oh anyway, wait, you know what'd be funnier actually? What? Spending luck to deal one d ten to Nico, because uh, after hitting Lydian in the head, he falls on Nico. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, do, yeah, do oh, that. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh no! Do I also take five then, or you take seven? Seven oh. damage from Lydian falling on you. This is mm. the most I've ever used this move. Is against <laughs> my own party <laughs> to make this escape believable. Oh, oh man! <laughs> they were really escaped at this point. But yeah, I hope they believe it. See, this is but this way they're not suspicious about you know. Like, that was easy. They're like, damn, those people are stupid and fat and blind. Uh, <laughs> Jared, they're getting away. Make off after them. See, this is really how Cherry is our combat class right now. I've fallen on something small and bony. <laughs> My god, they've put Nico on the ground. <laughs> after, a, after a minute, Lydia kind of climbs to his feet. I guess. <laughs> Is the smoke clearing? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Lydian kind of stumbles outside, shaking his fists. Oh, oh, Mallet, you have not seen the last of me. I will crush you like so many I've crushed before. Oh. You don't <laughs> think I will. That took a second to click his face. <laughs> I, I need help. I need medical attention. Cogsworth. Uh, all right. Well, they got away. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> Lydian kind of. <laughs> I think we in. did good there, team. I think we did perfect. Lydian says as he like stumbles and holds on to like a desktop to steady himself. <laughs> I think one that of them. That was hit... kind of fun. I think one of them hit me in the back of the head. They didn't uh, have to be. Huh. No one. No one did anything to me. Well, at least I guess got... they are gentlemen after all. Well, I suppose they're gentlemen who are not long for this world, so we're about to take some shivers. Yeah, there are out. a lot of gentlemen. Yeah, you d you said you weren't a good actor, but uh, good job, Nico. You held it. You held it together. Ow. You don't have to act like you're in pain. Nico, no Nico's inventing a bicycle pump to pump himself, like unflatten themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Flat Stanley over here. Okay. Anyone else remember Flat Stanley? Is that is that a reference to that? I I don't know if we got that over here. Neo. No. Well. Nope. Hopefully one of the three viewers out there. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get that one. Flat Stanley is more than just a character. He's an adventure waiting to unfold. Is that true? <laughs> that seems like it's I don't think it was it, that much of an adventure. It was just kind of... So this kid... His parents, the kid named Stanley, his parents get him like a poster board or something like that that he has on the wall over his bed. Then it falls off the wall and like crushes him in bed, but it just smashes him flat and he's fine. And then he just can do various hijinks. Like I remember one time he's like a kite mm. and just, you know, kids get to explore the fun realities of what if I was flat? So, how many kids do you think tried to crush themselves after um... reading this? 
That's the angle you need. I was, I was more thinking like, damn, Paper Mario ripped this off. Not how many <laughs> so kids, true. How many kids mutilated themselves in response? I'm not saying actually, but like maybe like tried to get their poster board to follow them or something. I love that too. It wasn't even something heavy. It was like fucking <laughs> cork board or whatever. <laughs> Anyway, we got to get ready for the big meeting tomorrow. That's that's when this is all coming together. Uh, assuming they don't cancel the meeting after there's a big explosion downtown or what have you. Hopefully. Well, I'm, I'm heading back to Palmer's. Good night. Wait, did the bomb have a timer or like, you know, a detonator or what? Or was it just like when they try and use it, it's rigged to blow? What's going on with it? I left I left the details of how it would go off when it was in O'Malley and the industry type's presence in uh in the hands of Nico. Nico, how did you set that bomb up? Oh, you know, oh it's very easy. Once it be I managed to make it so if once it's been removed from this area it will have a certain amount of time before it starts exploding. Ah, okay then. Did you take into account how long it takes to get to O'Malley's office or the meat? I'm not... Nico's a very smart scientist. I'm not a dummy. Of course I did. I had Cogsworth pace out the the length to O'Malley's office and I added that in. That's pretty clever. Perfect. Uh, I hope there is on a similar wavelength to the tiny robot. They're predictable creatures. You know what? I should stop trying to poke holes in our own plan. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>